Welcome to Dreamcatcher, Search for the Ultimate Warrior. Hello, I'm your host, Steve King. We have 24 tribes that consist of six contestants each, four men and two women from each nation that will compete for the ultimate prize of a wind and solar generation system along with a tech school for their reservation. These 144 contestants espouse the components necessary to be at least a mighty warrior. We're not looking for the mighty warrior, but the ultimate warrior and tribal nation. Perceptions of who will be the ultimate warrior does not meet reality as in these two fine warriors, such as Chris Sanchez, the 2010 winner of the Ultimate Warrior competition in the Crow Nation, and not to mention the mighty feats of the previous year's winner, Wolfie Realbird. Distance running is an art perfected by the Indians, who could run faster in a day than the Pony Express could ride. They ran through dense brush and forests to get from point A to point B. So one of the main skills will be to run 20 miles over a mountain range through thickets, brush, and dense forests in leggings and moccasins they made the night before. A warrior is one who possesses not only the skills of weaponry, but who is also a craftsman of not only those weapons, but everything in which he or she possesses. Weapons and craftsmanship alone are not enough. One needs the ability to drive him or herself to greater heights in order to push others beyond their own limitations. That leadership, coupled with other attributes, will define itself as the ultimate warrior. The warrior who leads through action and heart. The warrior we're searching for is literally a body wrapped tightly around a heart. The moving stories of these athletes and the fine people of the native nations will move you well beyond their athletic achievements. Fans will adopt an athlete in much the same way as viewers have adopted the Harris Boys of Deadliest Catch. Join us and find out who is the ultimate warrior.